In a previous video, which I've linked here and below, I showed you how to install WSL version two on a Windows 10 laptop. I was actually using this laptop in the demonstration. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Docker on a computer that's using WSL version two. In this example, I'm looking at the documentation on Docker's website. So docs, docker.com, Docker for Windows WSL. And we're given information about how to use the Docker desktop with WSL version two. Now, before you get started, there are some prerequisites. So number one, you need to install Windows 10 version 2004 or higher. So if I run WinVer, I can see that I'm using Microsoft Windows 10 2004 OS build is this. Now, I'm not using a professional version of Windows here. I'm simply using Windows Home Edition. You don't need the professional or enterprise versions of Windows 10 to use Docker. You can run it on a Windows 10 home computer. You can see that I've got eight gig of RAM in this computer. It's a 64-bit operating system. So 64-bit version of Windows 10. So some people have been struggling to get version 2004. You have to do a manual install of 2004. But that is once again the required minimum if you wanna install Docker on Windows 10. So hopefully Microsoft will resolve the issues, but you can manually bypass this and get it installed if you need to. Okay, you need to enable WSL version two, and we're told that we need to refer to the Microsoft documentation if we wanna do that. So they do have documentation showing you that, but the process is actually very simple. So I'll just show you this right now. Basically, you need to turn on Windows features and the two features you need are the Windows hypervisor platform and the Windows subsystem for Linux. So by checking those two checkboxes, you basically enable WSL version two. And the next thing you need to do is download and install the Linux kernel update package. I've once again demonstrated this in the previous video, so have a look at this video if you haven't got WSL version two installed. So once you meet the prerequisites, next step is to download the Docker desktop stable release. So in this example, I'll download the release 232, and I'm simply gonna click get Docker to download it to my local hard drive. It's about 391 meg in size, so just be aware of the size. But as soon as that's downloaded, I'll run it. So it's busy downloading to my downloads directory. Okay, so there you go, it's downloaded. I'll show in folder. And all I need to do now is double click on the executable to install it. Windows is complaining that I'm trying to install an app that isn't Microsoft verified. I'm gonna click install anyway. Click yes to allow the app to make changes to my device. I now need to specify the configuration. So I wanna enable WSL version two Windows features and I wanna add a shortcut to my desktop. Because I'm using Windows Home here, the only option is to use WSL version two. Windows Home doesn't support Hyper-V. So I can't use Hyper-V. The only option is to use WSL version two. If you've got Windows Professional, you could decide to use Hyper-V if you, if you want to. But in this example, once again, because I'm using Windows Home, I'm gonna use WSL version two, and I'm gonna click OK to install it. All you need to do basically now is wait for the software to install. Not much else to do. Takes a while to install. Okay, so the installation has now succeeded. I'm gonna click close. You may be asked to log off and then log back into Windows. So it didn't happen this time, but I have seen that happen in previous installs. But once it's installed, you can simply start Docker Desktop. I can see that Linux containers WSL version two backend is starting. You can see the little Docker icon is displaying here, telling me that Docker is starting. I'm told that the Docker Desktop is running. Open PowerShell and start hacking with Docker or Compose. I'll click on the up arrow, click on the icon, 
And what I'll do is display the dashboard. Okay, so I'm told that no containers are running. Try running a container by copying and pasting this command into your terminal and then come back. So what I'll do is start Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. And before I do anything else, I'm gonna copy this command and I'm gonna save that command in Notepad. I wanna show you what that command does. But before I run that, I'm gonna to go to Settings, Resources, WSL Integration, and what you'll notice is we've got this option, Enable Integration with my default WSL Distro. So it's gonna be using the default WSL Distro, and you might not know which distro that is. So what I'll do is run PowerShell and use the command WSL-L dash V and that shows me that this is my default WSL implementation. The command WSL dash L shows me that 2004 is my default distro. You can enable it on multiple distros. In this example, I've got three Linux distros installed using WSL version two, but it's using my default one under general, notice this option, use the WSL2 based engine. Windows Home can only run WSL version two backend. WSL version two provides better performance than the legacy Hyper-V backend, and you can learn more about that. That basically just takes us back to the page that I started with. But basically here, they are showing you the commands that I used. You need to use WSL version two with Docker. So back in PowerShell as an example, you can see that all of my virtual machines are using WSL version two. If they're not, you can set the version to version two or set the default version using this command to version two. Okay, but that's probably not what you wanna see. So in my Ubuntu 20.04 shell, so LSB release, dash A, you can see I'm using Ubuntu 20.04. What I'm gonna do is copy this command that they gave us, and I'll paste that in, and I'll try and paste that in, there you go. So Docker run, Docker getting started. We can see that it's pulling the getting started Docker image, and that's now running. So what I can do as an example is type Docker run hello world and I typed that wrong so let me try that again I'll make this bigger here's the command once again I'm told that that image couldn't be found locally so a docker pull was used the pull completed and it says hello from docker this message shows you that your installation appears to be working correctly so what I've done now is get Docker to run within an Ubuntu virtual machine running on a Windows 10 laptop using Windows Home. But let's try something more exciting. So let's run the command that they mentioned here. This will allow me to run an Ubuntu container. So docker run dash it Ubuntu bash. It's doing a pull and then downloading the operating system. And what you'll notice here is the prompt originally looked like that, but now looks like this. I'm actually running Ubuntu within Docker, within Ubuntu, within Windows on this laptop. So I'm running operating systems within other operating systems. So as an example, if I type LSB dash release here, this command doesn't work. I could type uname dash A and that tells me the version of Linux that I'm using. Notice what happens when I type exit. I'm exiting out of the Docker container and I'm now directly within my Ubuntu virtual machine running within WSL version two. So that command now works. And if I type exit here, I'm exiting out into Windows. So let me show you that process again. Here I have a Windows operating system running on a piece of hardware, this laptop here. What I'm gonna do is run Ubuntu 20.04. So I'm now running 
Ubuntu within Windows. This is a lightweight virtual machine running within WSL version 2 on Windows 10, Home Edition. Type Docker run Ubuntu bash. I'm now running Ubuntu within Docker within a Linux virtual machine within Windows. Now, once again, the LSB underscore dash release a command doesn't work in this Docker container. So I'll type apt update to update my references. This is within the Docker container. So the operating system has now been updated. I'll clear the screen and type apt install LSB dash release. Say yes to install the additional software. So what I'm doing now is installing additional software within the Docker container. So this is an Ubuntu Docker container once again. So LSB dash release dash A. You can now see that this command is working. I'm using Ubuntu 2004 LTS. If I type exit, notice the prompt has changed from that to this. I'm no longer inside of the Docker container. I'm now within the Linux virtual machine. And now if I type exit once again, I'm back in Windows. So this is the thing with virtualization. I can run operating systems within operating systems within operating systems. So again, I had a Linux operating system running within Docker, which was running within a Linux virtual machine running within WSL version 2 on a Windows operating system running on a laptop. So I'm running operating systems within operating systems. But that's how you get Docker running on a Windows 10 computer.